Well, folks, it's grilling season, and I know you're throwing a lot of that meat there on that old hot grill, but there's something you're overlooking that I guarantee is a treat. What is it? Yep, bananas. Grilled banana boats with ooey gooey peanut butter, chocolate chips, condensed milk. Oh man, I can't wait. Thank y'all for dropping in. We're so glad you took a little time out of your busy day to join us, and we welcome all of you here to this channel, me and Shandu. And speaking of this channel, be sure you always hit that subscribe button for more grilling recipes. But if you need something more than that, Shan will have a link right down there below to where you can sign up for our newsletter and never miss out on a thing. You might even find out where we're gonna be and we might be somewhere near you and I'll let you buy my supper. How's that suit you? But it's getting that time of year where everybody's in the backyard firing up that grill, putting a lot of meat on there, but I like to change it up, I do. Sure, I do love me some beef, but we're talking about grilling dessert. It is not just for meat or vegetables. You can grill a lot of dessert items, and today is one of my favorite, them grilled banana boats. First of all, what are we gonna do? Get that grill clean, good, and hot. And we're to that point. So what do we got here? Four bananas. Did Four you? nanners. Yes. As Kent, <clears throat> As Kent Rollins would call them, nanners. And I like them ripe. It don't hurt if they got a few bruises on them, folks, because we're gonna bruise them at the end anyway but make sure they're not green. Get you some that are ripe. It'll cut down on the cooking time. Grill's hot, ready to go. So let's throw them nanners on there. You can see the thermometer here says 600 degrees. So I know that's what we call hot. I ain't doing nothing to it, no oil. I did clean it with a wire brush. Whew, that's what I'm talking about as Justin Wilson would say. And just place them on there. Now, for this process, all we're gonna do is char them bananas sort of black on the outside to where they get a little softer and then I'll show you the next trick. So let's shut the door and let them babies have a little heat. Well, we've been on about a minute and a half to two minutes, really a hot grill to start with. So let's take a look. Now I'm wanting them to begin to just char or darken just a little, and you can see we're getting there. Just turn them over. You can see this happens pretty quick. This is a pretty simple little dish if you're looking to cook a dessert pretty fast in the backyard. Now folks, there is a telltale sign for a nanner and he ain't got much tail. But if Shan will zoom in here, see how these nanners are beginning to split here and crack a little? That is all we need. At this point, take them off the grill, turn the grill to the lowest setting it's got. Now, what I like to do because this has got three burners is I'm gonna turn two of them off. Leave this last one on low, shut that lid, take my bananas. Ooh, that was hot little rascals. Okay, we got it to this point. Now you will be a little careful because them is a tad bit hot. Got them all out here. We have one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. They look like this right here. Mm -hmm. See them? They look just like that. Yeah. We got one cup minus two peanut butter chips. Always check for quality. They'll work. Now, when it, see this split that's already in this nanner? Just take him right there, cut him down. Don't cut plumb through. Just make sure you get to each end, and then we're gonna mash him just a little to spread this apart. What do we got? We have a boat. Yes, we do. So let me get the rest of these split and then we'll put some passengers in the boat. I will give you a little tip. If you want to use a spoon to sort of pull this apart, sometimes it keeps that nanner from breaking. Now, I like to put a layer of them chocolate chips down in there. Then take me a layer of them peanut butter chips and put right on top. And make sure you get them sort of mashed everywhere down in there. And if you get down to the end of it and you got more chips than you got bananas, folks, that's really not a problem because you can eat them while the nanners is cooking. Well, it's time to get the boats back on the water and that is a grill today. Remember, 
This one is the only one on, the one in the middle. If you just got a burner that's got two, just turn one off on one side, place your nanners on the other side. Because I just want this to sit there and let all the melty goodness take place. We're not placing them directly over the heat. Remember, this is the only one we got on. These two are off. So put them to the outside edge, away from the direct heat. There's a few people here that didn't get to ride, so we'll let him jump on that one. Shut the lid oh so carefully. Now when you get to this point, folks, this is when you just sit there and you dream of that ooey gooey chocolate peanut butter hot melted banana goodness that you're fixing to get inside your mouth. Now, say I was doing it over here on the wood side of this grill, I would let it all the way down to the bottom, low heat after I got them bananas charred, just lower down. If you've got a place where you can't lower your grill, take your metal spatula and rake them coals to one side or the other, then just cook in the middle, a little indirect heat deal. Well, folks, we need to check and make sure the boat ain't trying to shrivel a little. You can see these two fellers here are staying. Let's open the cargo hole just there a little and let the goodness get down in there. Now, when you can see these chips go to melting, it's time to add the secret ingredient. Folks, what is the secret ingredient? I'm telling you right now. Eagle brand. Borden. See the little cow in there? Borden. This stuff is richer than all them folks on Wall Street. This stuff will make you happiest person in the world. You got grandkids, feed them a bunch of this and then send them home, they'll be up all night. It is good. So as they used to sing that old song years ago, Papa Top again. Now what do we do? It's called a spooning method. Make sure you can't get too much. Shut that lid. We're gonna let her go for just about two more minutes and then we're gonna call it a done deal. Well, folks, we've been on that other two minutes. I was wanting to go, so let's take a look. I would call everything just like I want it. Everything's good and soft. That peanut butter and chocolate have stayed in there, seeped down to the bottom and got good and hot. Skin is pulling loose on them nanners. The boat is ready to come out of the water. So we're gonna set them right here The ship has sailed and the boat has landed. Now if I just had somebody to help me eat it. Y'all remember my grandson, Caden, here? He is the grand champion breakfast burrito winner who don't like vegetables in there like onions or green chilies in his spam egg and cheese burrito. There's something wrong with him. When his old grandpa's up here cooking, you can usually find Cade snooping somewhere around. Today, Cade, have you ever had a grilled banana? Do you even like bananas? Not really. But you're going to like these, you know it? Now, I will tell you folks, if you let these deals cool just a little, you don't even got to have a plate. I mean, it's it comes right there. It's a happy meal in a banana peel. That's what it is. Oh, I like that. That rhymed, didn't it? I happy like meal in a banana peel. So, Cade, here's what you do, brother. You reach down in there, scoop that banana off the bottom of that peeling. Mm. <laughs> is it hot? Pretty good though, ain't it? Pretty gooey gooey, ain't it? That's what I call gooey gooey goodness and you can put it in there with that banana. Whew. Folks, this is a recipe you can get them kids in the backyard with or if you wanna impress some people, you can also do that. Serve them right out there on the backyard, on the lanai or wherever you got it in the pasture, I don't care, but it is good eating. Two scoops of vanilla ice cream on each side. Run you a little whipped cream over, stick you something on top like a strawberry or cherry. Banana split, don't get no better than that. It's all about bringing food and family together. That's what it's about here at our house. We hope you did learn something about this. You can grill anything. It's not just for meat, folks. Anything you want to throw on there. Be sure, like we said, to hit that subscribe button. Channel have the little recipe in the description below. Also remember you can sign up for our newsletter in the little link below. God bless you each and every one. We hope to see you down the trail. Tell them bye, Cade. How about this? Y'all ever heard of Chiquita Banana? 
That ain't me, Shan. Okay. Here we go. Well, That's Carmen Miranda. Who? Carmen Miranda. She had the little headdress. No, that was the Chiquita Banana commercial people. Well, she's a Chiquita Banana, but Carmen Miranda had the big headdress. I don't know what her name was. I just know she had the big... They're two different people. <laughs> Let me tell you folks out there watching, Stop. do not argue with the woman. She will always win. First. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Hey, thank y'all for stopping by. Great day above the grass it is. We welcome you all. Beeg's king. <laughs> hey, hey. That was a big one, Beeg. Hey. Man. <laughs>